Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this super quick tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a vertical line in a Squarespace website. Now, before we get started here, I want to mention there are many different ways to do this. My approach is just a super simple one where we're going to be adding a border to a block of content. There are lots of different ways to do this because code is really customizable, but this is one of the easiest approaches that I've used in my own client sites. I also want to mention this tutorial works for any version of Squarespace, Squarespace 7 or the latest version 7.1. No matter what you're using, it's going to be the exact same approach. I'm recording it in my 7.1 demo site, but wherever you're at, it's still going to work. So let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and I'll show you how to make this magic happen. So here we are in my demo site and I'm just going to select edit really quickly to show you. I've got a block of content here and another piece of content right there. We're going to put a vertical line between the two of those. Now, Everything we're doing is custom CSS. So I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. What I'm going to do is grab the block ID or the unique name that Squarespace has given this particular piece of content over here. There's a free Chrome extension that I use called the block identifier. I'm not affiliated with them. I just use them on my own site and a link to them is in the description beneath the video. So I'm just going to click the block identifier and check it out. All these numbers that pop up, those are the unique names for those particular elements. So I'm just going to click on this one to copy that block ID to my clipboard so we can use it in our code. I'm going to turn off that plug in there or that extension, I should say, and then I'll paste the block ID in custom CSS. Now, right away, it's saying syntax error on line one. It's because I haven't put the code in yet. All I've done is say, here's the thing, and I haven't told the browser what to do. So that's the next part. We're going to open up a curly bracket here and I'm going to say border left, let's say 5px solid purple and check it out. I now have a vertical line on the left of that piece of content. Pretty awesome, right? Now you can do a lot of unique things with borders. I actually have a whole page on my website about all the details inside the square.co forward slash border because we can do things like turn this into a double border if we want to, or we can make it a dotted border. Let's try that one. Bunch of dots in that vertical line. You have a lot of options there. I also have some unique codes listed in the description below for you to play around with. One of the codes actually takes a gradient and creates a faded line. I'm just going to paste the code that I have in the description beneath the video right here. This, this creates a unique faded line that fades out a little bit. So it's a slightly transparent at the top and slightly transparent at the bottom, kind of a unique effect there. And then I also have another one playing around with gradients that's in the description beneath the video. I'll just paste it here. This gives us an awesome rainbow line starting at red, fading all the way down into purple. And one more thing I want to mention before you start getting really creative with these lines, we have to talk about mobile. On a mobile device, when I click on the mobile preview here, you'll see the line still stays there on the left hand side. If you don't want to see that on mobile, there's one line of code that you can add to the very beginning of this that says only show it on anything larger than this screen size. So that code is at media only screen and min width, let's go with 468 PX. Now again, this code is in the description beneath the video there, but I'll go ahead and paste it right here. And now what we're going to see, oops, I forgot the X. There we go. And now what we're going to see is that the line doesn't show up on mobile, but on the desktop site, it does. So if you don't like the look on mobile, just add that line of app media only, blah, blah, blah. It's in the description beneath the video there for you. Just add that line and it'll only be visible on anything larger than 468 pixels in width. So anything bigger than a cell phone. Okay. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, be sure to subscribe because I post a new one every Tuesday, but most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.